Hey y'all, happy 2024, it's Joey B. Starting the year off the way I know best with a tier ranking video. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I made a post. Uh, 2023 was a crazy year for me. 2024 is going to be a lot better. I plan to post way more this year. Uh, now usually I uh, do a, a Marvel Legends ranking video every year where I rate every legend from worst to best every figure I got for the whole year. I decided to do a tier ranking video this year instead. That's more what I'm known for these days. Uh, there were 178-ish released Marvel Legends this year. Uh, that includes MCU, comic, cartoon, Gamerverse, etc. Uh, of course, I, I didn't get all those. I only clicked comic figures. And to, then this year I got some cartoon figures because they fit in the comic style. So anyways, let's get started with this list. So you see we have seven categories here. We have possible top 10, good, okay, disappointing, meh, trash, and didn't get. Now there will, there will be some figures I put in the trash category that I didn't get just because I didn't get them because they were trash. Uh, there are various reasons why I didn't get figures. I'll explain that when I get there. Uh, as you guys see, I'm using a different tier ranking format than usual. The, the tier list ranker website I used to use wouldn't work for some reason. So I get down on this app and unfortunately I have to record it all uh, portrait mode now. Uh, but otherwise this seems overall smoother than the website. Let's get started. So first off, from the Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest series, we have Thor from the Destroyer 2-pack. Uh, I did want this Thor. I mostly wanted it for the Eric Masterson Thor head. So I'm going to put him in... I can always change this around in the future, too. Um, for now, I'll put him in, in OK. So I like that the Masterson Thor head. I don't like that they painted on the things on the side, but overall, he's OK. Emma Frost from the Chod Wave, the astonishing Emma Frost. She looks good, but uh, the cape really hinders that, so it makes, it, it makes her disappointing. On the flip side of that, astonishing Cyclops is a really good figure. Uh, not a top 10 worthy figure, but I think maybe I'd put him in good. Oh, he's a brand new sculpt just for Cyclops. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Then we have Baron Von Strucker. Again, no, this is nothing amazing here. It's just a repainted Spider UK body with pinless joints. Uh, that's not my favorite. That's not my favorite body mold. Uh, I feel like Strucker just never really like appealed to me that much this year, so I'll put him in meh. Here's Jubilee from the X-Men 3-pack. Uh, I really only bought that 3-pack. I wanted Banshee. I wanted Banshee, and I wanted Forge, and I wanted the X-Men suited the other bodies to make some other characters. This Jubilee one I had no real use for, so I really didn't want to get her. Um, I'll put her in trash. Wolverine, on the other hand, I got him for the heads. It's some, this is the best unmasked Wolverine head that we've ever gotten in the Marvel Legends line. I'll put him in okay. Uh... I guess I'm, the, I'm one of the only people I know who isn't a huge fan of that X-Men 275. I, I didn't need them in my... Like, I like that story, but I didn't need a, 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 uh, those figures in my in my collection. So I'll put them in I'll put them in okay. And then Gambit, same thing with him. I bought him just so I can use that body for it to make a different character. But I used this Gambit head on the previous Gambit figures. This is the best Gambit head we've gotten in the Marvel Legends line by far. Um, I used the body to make Joseph. Uh, I'll put him in meh, though, because at least I had more use out of him than I did for Jubilee. And then also here, going in trash... We have the Molecule Man. Um, unfortunately, I I love the character of the Molecule Man. I don't I don't want to put the character in the trash, but this figure has so many problems. First, they made a more modern version of Molecule Man with a more handsome looking head sculpt. I, well, he's still ugly, but I wouldn't call him the ugly Molecule Man that I grew up with, um, like in Secret Wars and stuff. But my big, even bigger problem than the head sculpt is the spotty choice they use for him. Molecule Man is five foot seven, and he was the tallest figure in that wave besides the Builder figure. So. That alone there really brings Molecule Man way down. Um, really unhappy with that figure. On the flip side of that, possible top 10 worthy, we have the Blob. Only problem with the Blob was how much he cost. He was a very expensive figure. He probably should have been closer to the, 40, to the $45 price point. But at $60, he's a lot. But I'm still very happy with that figure. Uh, I, I had the old Hasbro Build-A-Figure Blob. I liked it. Uh, good enough to be, you know, because I needed Blob on my shelf. But as soon as they announced this, I, I sold that thing because this is superior to Blob in every way. It looks much more like the comic book, uh, the 80s comic book Blob that I am, familiar, um, am more familiar with. So I love this figure. One of a few figures that use the Bucky Cat body this year is the Orb. And honestly, I don't hate the Bucky Cat body. I, I do agree. It should be, it should be phased out by now. Uh, I don't hate when I see it still. And the Orb, if using the Bucky Cat body means I get obscure characters like the orb today you know i'm i'm okay with it um that being said i'm probably gonna put orb in meh because he's not gonna be in the top 20 or anything like that but he's not bad he's just I mean, he's meh then you got long shot this is the retro carded long shot i didn't get the three pack one from a year ago uh i 
was glad I waited on that on that retro. Uh, <clears throat> I was glad I waited on that three pack because I prefer this version of Long Shot and I preferred the single release of Mojo. So, uh, yeah. And there's, <clears throat> so yeah, the, I'm happy to have this Long Shot. This Long Shot uh, is definitely good. He's a newly sculpted figure. I know they almost used that sculpt for uh, the Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider, uh, but for the most part, I mean, I, I think he's a really nice addition to the collection, and I like that figure quite a bit. Here's another Bucky Cap body figure. We have Dr. Spectrum. I am a huge Squadron Supreme fan. I love this team. Uh, it does not bother me having him on the Bucky Cap body. He would have been better on the Vulcan body, though. I agree. Uh, the, the pinless arms they use in the Bucky Cap body, though, they look really long on Dr. Spectrum here, so that brings him down. Uh, I would like some, some more constructs with him as well. It would have been cool, but, but yeah, I don't... My, my, I think my love for the Squadron Supreme is going to bring him a little higher for me. I'm going to put him in Disappointing. That's because of the long arms, but overall, I think he's a pretty pretty good figure then we have banshee from the three pack and banshee at first, first glance looks great i put him in good but then you look closer at him and those big ugly yellow tabs he has on him really just makes him an eyesore so i, I snipped those off and because i had to modify him i'm bringing him down to disappointment because that was disappointing that i had to do that also from the squadron supreme this is from the more modern squadron supreme dr spectrum is as well but his costume has never changed from the 60s to now so he still works uh this nighthawk though uh I mean, clearly Kyle Richmond changed races in the comics recently. I mean, this is probably a different universe than the original Kyle Richmond Hawk, uh, Nighthawk. I'm not like, a modern comic fan. I like the classic comics. So for me, this figure is... Well, I didn't get it. Um, so he's not trash in the sense that he's bad. But he, I, I didn't get him because I, because I don't like that version of Nighthawk. I would love to have a more classic uh, Squadron Supreme uh, uh, display on my shelf. Uh, so I didn't get that Nighthawk. But... Uh, yeah, I hope, I hope we get another Nighthawk in the future, a better, more classic version. And again, nothing wrong with that figure. The figure looks great, and I don't mind. And I, I, I liked that version of Squadron Supreme in the comics. I just don't collect that era of comics, the modern era of comics, on my shelf. So he goes down there. Then we got Safari Jacket Wonder Man, who's been a big want of mine for a long, long time. And they use that that same crappy jumpsuit body. I get why they use it, but the 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 way the arms and the knees bend on that is so ugly. And Wonder Man. I feel like it should be a lot more wide and broad than they made him. His, his arms look scrawny in that jumpsuit. Um, so, but I like his head sculpt. His head sculpt is fantastic. But I'm going to put him in disappointing, unfortunately. Next up, we have a figure that easily could have been in the top 10, but it's, unfortunately is not. It's Extremist Iron Man. They easily could have added in a ball joint for his lower torso so you can get him to crunch further. His, his design is made perfectly for that articulation point to get added in there, and they didn't do it. I don't know why. Uh... I still love the look of this figure anyways. It was great with my more modern Avengers and, my, and my hall, also my Hall of Armor. Uh, hoping they re-release it again in a slightly different color scheme. Maybe they'll do some... And I know they won't fix their articulation problems, but maybe they add some more accessories to them. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, this Iron Man is definitely good. Just not amazing. Next up is the Super Scroll from the Scroll 2 pack from the Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest series. Uh... It's a, really, it's a really random character to make of all the Super Scrolls on the page. I, I guess this is the one that stands out the most on that splash page. But it's only in a handful of panels ever uh and the odds of them making the other versions of the scrolls from that splash page i seem very very slim so i don't know and then this figure itself wasn't even executed very well he has a big like line around his throat it looks super ugly because it's, it's reused from the original super scroll builder figure uh i don't know just this, this figure just it just does not bring excitement it's just another thing added to the shelf um he's gonna go in trash that was a really bad two-pack Next up is build a figure of the year. I'd say for sure this is the mindless one. Uh, I love this build a figure, even though mine has a QC problem where the plastic didn't fill out all the way on his torso, so he's kind of uh, there's a big gap where his, where his shoulders where his shoulders connect together. And I hate that he's a build a figure. I, I wish he was a uh, like a deluxe. So I like to get like five of him to go along with my Dormammu. But as an individual figure, he looks really cool. I love that uh, wafting energy effect. So he's going to go in good. We got a few of the minus wave, minus wave figures, minus one wave figures in a row. Um, Lady Bullseye, really good figure. I love that shriek body mold for her. Uh, I've always wanted this character. I remember when they almost made her back in 2008, 2009. Um, it never happened. It's, it's, I'm glad it didn't happen then because now it could happen now and it's good. So I'll put her in good. Probably the best figure from that wave besides the minus one himself. Next up is a figure from that same wave that I only bought for the build a figure piece. Uh, so because of that, he goes in trash. It's the Fist Ninja. Oop. It's the fist, the fist ninja goes in the trash. Only got that for the build a figure piece. I didn't like it with the original hand ninja release. I feel like it's too tall to be a ninja. Uh, I have ideas for custom use for this one, but yeah, it was not a figure I wanted to get at all. On the opposite side of that is Clea. Who I really wanted a Clea figure. I'm, only, I'm a big Doctor Strange fan. His, uh, his wife is a great character to have, but 
the way her biggest problem is that she has the single joint elbows, which normally I don't mind too bad, but they gave her the worst single joint elbow sculpt that they have. So she has the, she has the, uh, the, 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 she has the, the glove sculpted on, so she can't even get to 90 degrees in her elbow. That really disappoints me. So she's going to go on disappointing. Uh, otherwise I love her sculpt. Otherwise it's just that elbow joint really, really brings her down. We got some X Men '97 wave figures here now. Now I don't most I mostly don't collect the cartoon figures, so I didn't so I didn't get Storm or Rogue. I had no desire to get either of those. I'm sure they're fine, but Bishop here I did get, and I saw the body mold for it. I thought, wow, that's a great sculpt, and I so I took the comic Bishop head and put it on that body, and it's so much better than the original Bishop. So I'm putting him in good, uh, even though I had to modify him with a different head. This that sculpt is really good. If it, if they would have just made a normal Bishop like a comic Bishop with that body, he would have probably been in the top in the, in the top ten. Um, but since he's not, uh, he just goes in good. I think from that wave that I did pick up that, uh, really is not good is Magneto. Uh, Magneto's trash. He goes in the trash section. One, he's super short, super, super short and stubby with a tiny head and super long gorilla arms. Why did they, why did they do this to Magneto? I don't get it. Uh, we've, we've never gotten a good classic Magneto figure in the Marvel Legends line. I hate that my main Magneto on my shelf is a custom that I bought for $15 on eBay and it's not even very good, but still better than every Marvel Legends Magneto we've ever gotten. It's ridiculous. It's sad. Um, Magneto goes in the trash. The next 97, that, that, uh, the next 97 X-Men wave Magneto looks pretty good though. I, I'm, I'm excited for that look. We still have a good classic Magneto. Going back to the mindless one wave, we have Blade and Blade has another figure who's never gotten a good Marvel Legend. This one is at least decent. I will be replacing the cape with the fabric one in the future. Um, wish we got a non-screaming head. That would've been really nice. Uh, I hate being limited by having always screaming head. Emotive heads are cool, like gritting teeth. That's cool, but always yelling, screaming mouth open is hard for me to is hard for me uh, to, to work with sometimes. So, um, and then the, his arms don't go down all the way. It just doesn't bring a lot of joy to me. So he's gonna go in disappointing. And another minus one way figure, if Daredevil, and um, he had no he had no build a figure piece. So I didn't I didn't actually get him, but I've held him in hand. He's a really not good figure. I don't like him at all. Uh, I think maybe I might get him to use his custom fodder for uh, Death Watch, the Ghost Rider villain. Maybe combine him and the ninja together and make Death Watch. But as a, in general, he is trash. The '97 X Men Wave Wolverine. Uh, I, I don't like the I don't like the cartoon figures, so the head sculpt is way too cartoon for me. But the body mold still work. The body you know still works as a good classic Wolverine. Uh, the way they did the arms is really weird. How they sculpted the hair but didn't paint it. Um, that's that's really it really throws me off. Uh, I like the claws. The, the claws are nice though. Uh, I think I'm only gonna put him in okay for now. He might go up later. I, I, mean, I do enjoy the figure, but I mean, it is just another Wolverine. So, quick overview, real quick, before we move on. You, the, you know, Blob's only won the possible top 10 section so far, going down. To, didn't get there. Overall, I think this was a fairly disappointing year for Marvel Legends in, in general, uh, to be honest with you. Next up, I think this is the last figure from the Mindless One Wave. I could be mistaken. Uh, it's Luke Cage, Power Man. And this is a figure I've been looking forward to for you. For forever, uh, forever, and honestly, for a long time, I thought they were just reused Tombstone from years ago. I mean, painted and made him yellow, um, which yeah, I'm glad they didn't do that and they gave him a sculpted shirt. But the way they did that, they, the, the big gaps in his under his arms, super ugly. Uh, it's his very bland head sculpt. It's just him just standing there, looking dull. Um, it's a really big bummer. He has the opposite problem of Blade, where Blade's always screaming, Luke always looks bored. Again, like a gritted head would be fine. I could, I could use that. Any kind of display, that's would be great. But we didn't get it. But my biggest problem overall with Luke Cage is that he's tiny. He's like the same size as Captain America-ish. I feel like, you know, Luke Cage, his height's usually listed, usually between 6'6 six, six and 6'8. Six, um, his height has varied over the years. At one point, he was considered 6'3. And then at one point, he was considered 7 foot. But I like my Luke Cage like 6'6 six, six to 6'8. Six, so he'd be like Hercules or Thor sized in height. And this guy is not. So that really brings him down to me on top of the other issues. Uh, man. But I still am happy to have a new classic Luke Cage. I'm going to put him in disappointing, but I honestly, he could easily go lower because he is that disappointing. Here's a couple Target exclusives back to back. We got Yondu from the original Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that version of the Guardians. I'd like to finish that team off super bad. Uh, this figure is, is good enough for Yondu. I mean, it's okay. So he's going to go up here okay. Ant-Man is listed as being Scott Lang. Really, it could be either Hank or Scott. Hank and Scott have the same eye color, the same height. One's like 10 pounds heavier than the other one. Only difference is their hair color, which you can't even see under this helmet. So it could be Hank Pym, it could be Scott Lang, it could be either one. Uh, it's definitely the better... I, I use it as Hank Pym in my collection. This, me calling it Hank Pym, this is definitely the preferred version of Hank Pym we got this year. He's going to go in okay. 
Now, next is a really, really good figure. This is Bucky Cap, the Walmart exclusive Bucky Cap. Uh, really impressed by this figure. I liked the old Bucky Cap a lot. I didn't think I needed an upgrade of it. Uh, and I, after getting this, I definitely realized I definitely did need an upgrade. Uh, this figure is fantastic. The sculpted detail on him is way better than the original. Uh, he's a going good. He might even go in possible top 10. Uh, I'll put him up possible top 10 for now. I can always move him down later, but I think he's a really, really good figure. Then we have Cersei. Uh, Cersei is, uh, is an eternal. <clears throat> Cersei is a member of the Eternals. Uh, here she's wearing her 90s Avengers costume, which is the version I was hoping they would make for her for the Avengers. Um, I still hope we get a green Cersei so I can put that with the Eternals in the future if we ever get any <laughs> more Eternals in the future. Um, but I feel like this body mold was not the right choice for Cersei. She's a really powerful, strong character, and they gave her this super scrawny body. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put her in disappointing. She also should have had a headband on. Next up, another Walmart exclusive. We have Joe Fix It. I didn't get the Builder figure back in the day uh, because I, I knew I knew they would repaint it as a comic figure, and they did it. I'm very happy with it. I kind of wish I would have gotten two of them. I needed one for the new Fantastic Four. I need one for the Order, for the Evil Defenders. Uh, that would have been really cool to get that because uh, the white suit what I want to use with Patch, and I can't use that in my new Fantastic Four. Uh, it's frustrating. Anyways, another, anybody has another, another <clears throat> if anybody has an extra Joe Fix It for a good price, I'd like to take it from you. Um, but anyways, I'm happy with this figure. I'm putting him in good. The best Hulk figure of the year, I believe. And we have Black Knight from that Cersei 2 pack. Um, again, in his 90s ex, uh, his nineties Avengers jacket. Um, I like this look of Black Knight a lot, but my Avengers display, I only I display my, my definitive versions of that character for that in the Avengers. And for me, that's the classic Black Knight. So this one didn't really have a spot for me in my collection, but I did take his better head and his better boots and put it on the original Black Knight figure, made that figure better. And then I need to take some boots from the Taskmaster figure, the uh, the, the the animated series one, the Ultimate Spider-Man animated series one, and put those boots on here to make this task to make this Black Pan Black uh, Black Knight a more uh, a better figure that stands out more on the shelf. Anyways, because because I have to modify him, and I only bought him for parts. He's gonna go in meh. Then we got Secret Wars Doom, who I've always wanted. Uh, this is a you know good figure. It's, it reuses the Iron Man parts just like the old toy did, and it works for Secret Wars Doom. Put this in my cosmic display. It's nice. I like it. Was it absolutely necessary to have? No, but it's good enough for me. I'm gonna put it in okay. Is the new Riders Hawkeye from the uh, Avengers uh, 60th anniversary, the Beyonders Mightiest Wave. Um, this Hawkeye is amazing. It's the best Hawkeye we've ever gotten by a landslide. Only problem with him is his bow. You know, we need a better bow and arrow for Hawkeye. But otherwise, great. Love this figure. I don't like his uh, soft goods loincloth thing at all. I would have much preferred plastic. Because I don't even use him on the, on the Sky Cycle. I use the All-Father Wave Hawkeye on the Sky Cycle, even with his plastic skirt, and it still fits on there perfectly fine. So, plastic would have been better for this Hawkeye. Uh, but anyway, he's a really great figure. I'm going to put him in possible top 10. We have my Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau. A figure I've wanted for a long, long time. She's been desperately needed for the Avengers display. Um, we had that my old Monica Rambeau from the A-Force set years ago. She's really expensive now. Uh, that works better for, like, Next Wave or uh, the Ultimates or... A4. Classic Monica in her 70s, 80s, I think it's more 80s style outfit when she was a leader of the Avengers. It's a look I've always wanted. They didn't do a very good job with her arm sleeve things, but I've seen worse done. Um, she go, she's, she's also going to go in okay next to Doom. I don't buy animated series figures, so I didn't get this Peter Parker. I have no desire to get him. Same thing with Mary Jane and Green Goblin. But the Smythe, while yes, it's the animated style, uh, works well enough for a comic line i still want to get him i have not gotten him yet anyone has him for sale let me know i would like to get the smite figure another figure i didn't get is mania no real desire to get her it's been a while since we added a figure to the trash so here we go ultron from the cassie lang builder figure wave that whole wave is mostly overall disappointing uh if it would have had a, i wish i had a comic builder figure i would have been all over it but mcu bath meh this ultron would be okay for like ultron drones uh but i didn't get a single one of them i decided to pass this ultron completely if i see him on clearance maybe i'll get a few drones uh, overall, this this Ultron, uh, I didn't I didn't get him, but uh, he's still trash. I mean, you can tell looking at him, he's trash. The previous Ultron was better in every way. Another figure I didn't get, but I know is trash, is the future Ant Man. Uh, the modern story with a stupid, ugly design it reminds me of like Common Rider or something. Not for me. Uh, yeah, no. Now this next wave, I normally wouldn't count until, until I would normally count as a 2024 wave, but for the, one of the very rare occurrences ever, I got a wave early. I got it in December. Uh, of 2023, like three days before New Year. So I'm, I'm so for the one, for this one time, I'm going to count it. I got the Void Build a Figure wave. I mean, this Void Figure looks really impressive. I mean, it's going to go great behind the Century, looking super intimidating on the shelf. The figure itself is not very fun to pose. Those crab legs fall off super easy. Um, 
again, it's mostly just going to be like a like it's, <clears throat> it's more going to be just a diorama piece behind Sentry, more than more so than an actual figure. So I'll put him in okay. Another figure from that wave is Kristar, character I'm not really familiar with. I mean, I knew he had crossovers in the with the main Marvel universe. Like I know Hawk, um, not Hawkeye, Nightcrawler, and Doctor Strange. A few other characters crossed over with him. Um, turns out he is actually in the Six One Six universe, so I did need him for the shelf. Um, I have no nostalgia towards this character like other like, like people in their forties might have. Uh, but he's he's a decent figure. I'm gonna put him in okay. Let's get green for a little while here. Next up, we have classic Drax. And I, <clears throat> I'm calling this classic Drax is a bit of a stretch. This is more 80s 90s Drax um which I this is my favorite version of Drax he's big huge uh my problem with this figure is his head's too big for that version of Drax he should be have a smaller head a more animated head this version of Drax is really crazy um not crazy but he goofy kind of he's dumb and like mindless um this Drax head would have been perfect on an original Drax like when Drax was like the same size as like Vision like a normal sized guy uh this head sculpt would fit perfectly on the original classic Drax um and the, and the you know about the big well the big Drax should have a big should have a goofier head. I would like both versions of Drax. That'd be cool. Um, but since we don't have that, we have this one. I like it. I'm happy to have it. It's still going good. Kind of it might be nitpicky for what I was saying about the heads, but again, um, that's the way I remember Drax like from Infinity War and stuff. He had a more goofy a more goofy expression um, most of the time, while the and a, and, a nor, and a smaller head while the normal Drax the original Drax looks more like this but smaller overall. Sticking with the green theme, we got Totally Awesome Hulk, who I did not get. Uh, no desire to own this character. No problem with the design. I mean, he's whatever, but I think I'll take an Amadeus Cho, a normal Amadeus Cho, but not him as Hulk. Um, so that's a that was a pass for me. Luckily, because that wave mostly sucked. And sticking with green, and this time going to the trash section. This is the worst build figure of the year. I mean, I guess you could argue for the MCU ones or Awesome Hulk. I didn't get them at all, but the ones that I got. Is Chad or Chode, Chad, Chad? I don't know whatever you want to call him. This is a uh, worst build, worst build figure of the year for me. Not only is he severely undersized, he's also not even accurately sculpted. He has too many fingers. Uh, missing his his, his uh, behind toe claw. Missing the fin on his back, the fin on his legs. Like those, like he can. If he was undersized, he'd be fine. I mean, he still would suck. But if he, he could have at least still been accurate, and he's not. Figure would have been the perfect time to make a new, big, scaly, Hulk-sized creature body that they could reuse again in the future for Abomination. Rather than using the old Abomination and making Chad, so now Chad feels outdated, they could have made Chad nice first and then re-released a new Abomination on that better body. But no, that's not how Hasbro does it. They give us trash instead. Space Knight Venom, didn't get him, didn't want him, didn't, him, didn't get the gold figure the first time, didn't want him the second time. Pass. From the Chad wave, we have Chamber from Generation X. Character I like, I'm not super familiar with, but I like him. Uh, I had the old 90s toy of him. Would have been cool if he was in his Generation X attire to match Monet St. Clair from the same wave as him. Which would be smart, Hasbro, but they didn't do that. So he's going to go on meh. Monet St. Croix, Monet St. Croix, whatever, however you say it. Uh, I'm, I have a stuffy nose. I'm not going to say it right anyways, no matter what. Uh, she's a good figure. I'm going to put her up in... Put her in okay. I think okay is a good spot for her. Nothing amazing, but she's not bad at all. Uh, the retro card Moon Knight. It's just a re-release of the same Moon Knight we had before. Would have been really nice if they would have given us a West Coast Avengers Moon Knight with the gold and the Ankh on his chest. That would have been cool. Or maybe a first appearance Moon Knight where his cape connected to his arms. So you can put him with a Werewolf by Night if you ever get one of those. But they didn't. It's just the same Moon Knight we got before. So he's going to go in meh. Here's the Shield Agent from the Shield, from the Shield Agent Hydra 2-pack. I wanted to get one of these. I don't know why I didn't. I forgot. Um, so I'm going to didn't get. I need to go back and get it though. I want to use it for the uh, Sharon Carter head. The blonde head for Sharon Carter. Because the Hydra's right here too. Let's put that and didn't get. Uh, I was less inclined for the Hydra Soldier because as a comic reader, let me tell you, how many times have I ever seen a female Hydra agent in the comics in, in my life? Uh, not counting Madame Hydra or any of the like higher up people in Hydra who you know are near the top. Like as a grunt, as a Hydra soldier, as, you know, how many female Hydra soldiers have I ever seen in my life in the comics? One. And it's not even in this look. It's in the old original Hydra soldier look. So didn't feel a need to have a female Hydra soldier. I think it's cool they made it. It's cool to have the option. But seriously, I've never seen a female Hydra soldier in this look ever in the comics. If someone can show me one, I like—I I really appreciate it. I want to be proven wrong. But I personally have never seen a female Hydra soldier in that look. Prove me wrong, though, please. Next up is Vision from the new Void figure wave. Void builder figure wave. This is the perfect Vision figure. I, I never liked the retro card one very much. I always felt it was too small. Metallic green didn't do it for me. Um, I'm, now I have this figure in hand. I mean, man, this is perfect. He's like... He's the stature I always wanted Vision to be. Not super giant, but not 
shorter than Captain America. I feel like you know, like around the same height as Captain America. That's a good height for Vision. Uh, I moved my retro one to my Young Avengers shelf. Um, this Vision is really good. Even better with the soft goods cape on him. Uh, honestly, he's not possible top ten because he's just a repaint of Vulcan, but he is really high up and good. He's a really, I'm really happy to find have a good Vision figure. And we have Fang from this Chod Wave. Um, I'm happy to have another Imperial Guardsman. It's really awesome to me. Uh, I think this figure is a lot, was a missed opportunity. It could have been really easy to release this figure on a Wolverine sized body because Fang is five foot four, Wolverine is five three. He, but instead, they put him on the Spider UK body, which is for characters who are like six two, six three, like a whole foot taller than what Fang is supposed to be. If they were smart, they would have released this figure on a Wolverine body with interchangeable Wolverine parts or interchangeable Dokken parts, you know, and given us Fang properly. Uh, they didn't do that. They made us. I gave us a figure that was too tall, disappointing me. I'm gonna put him. In, he, he doesn't piss me off as much as the other people, other figures in trash do. But he's going meh. Because at least I can fix it by having to crouch down real low, even though his body doesn't really have a good crouch because of the the, the fold in the back of the knee. Um, it's, it's meh. You know, Fang's not that important of a character. But I would have liked him to be done with a, you know, on a Wolverine sized body. I can see them doing a Fang Wolverine in the future too, and make, make me even more mad about this release. So we'll see. And we have Crossfire from the Cassie Lane Builder figure wave. Um, honestly, nothing wrong, nothing wrong with this figure. It's exactly how I picture Crossfire. So he's going to go in okay. Namorita from the Void Wave. I know it's not the version people wanted. I personally did want this version of Namorita. I love that version of New Warriors. This is the version she was where the New Warriors died and killed by Nitro in Stanford before Civil War. I prefer the classic Namorita, but this Namorita's fine too. This was, this was going to go in my Atlantis display, which is right now just Namor and Namorita. We need a, we, we really, come on Hasbro, we really need a Namora, we need a Natuma, a Krang, a Byra, come on, give me all of them. Be really cool, but we don't have them. Uh, she's gonna go in okay for me. I'm sure most people should be in disappointing or trash, but for me, she'd be okay. Next is Detroit Steel. Uh, I didn't get him. I keep forgetting about him. I keep forgetting he exists. Um, I don't know if I actually, I don't know if he actually fits in my time frame of my Marvel collection. Like, I know I, I cut my, collect, my uh, collection off. Anyone who appeared after 2013, I don't get, uh, like, Marvel Now is my cutoff. Like, it, it, once Marvel Now started, I don't buy figures that came out after that. I can't remember where, where Detroit Steel fits in there. So he might be a get in the future. He might be a, you know, a pass forever. But he, he looks cool either way. So uh, either way, I didn't get him this year. Then we have Egghead from the Castling Builder Figure Wave. One of Ant-Man's more prominent villains. Uh, again, not a figure that's, not a figure I ever expected to take the world by storm or anything. But it's also a figure I never expected, I never expected to get, period. I never thought we'd get Egghead. Um. Uh, and they did him okay. He could have been on a on a slightly shorter, more stocky, fat body, chubbier body. But with the what we have in suited bodies, they did a good choice for him. He's like going okay. We have the retro carded uh, Amazing Fantasy Spider Man. Uh, has the only difference from the last year is it has the blue spider on its back. It's still not accurate. The spider should have a head on it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's so disappointing with this one. Even though it's still a great figure, they still couldn't get the accurate spider logo on him. It makes no sense. We have Hank Pym from the West Coast Avengers box set. Um, this is the version of Hank Pym I've always wanted. But oh, he feels too tall on this jumpsuit body, which I also don't like this jumpsuit body because the way the arms and legs bend. Um, it's never going to be a very exciting figure because it's just Hank Pym in a jumpsuit. Um, he's really going meh. And we have Marvel Boy, Noah Var, um, character who's I know him from the Young Avengers. I know him from the Dark Avengers. The character I've always wanted. They made him in a suit that I don't recognize. So that's kind of disappointing. Otherwise, he's not a bad figure. He's just not in a design that I recognize. So he's going to go disappointing for me. Uh, Tarantula, who's really disappointing. I mean, he has a... I don't know why they gave him that the turquoise blue mask. Like, if, you're gonna, if his mask is going to be blue, the spider should be blue. The mask and the spider should be the same color, which I prefer to be black. Black would be the ideal look there. And on top of that, he came with zero accessories. Nothing at all. He's in a retro card, so he's not, not even a builder figure piece. Yeah, uh, Tarantula is trash. Uh, again, I don't want to put him in the trash. Because I mean, he, you know, he looks okay on the shelf, but man, that's just really, really disappointing. Another trash figure from that wave is Spider Woman. I picked her up to put the scroll head on it because I wanted the other the, the classic Spider Woman to be just a normal classic Spider Woman, even though it's not accurate. Had the scroll head, whatever. I needed a scroll Spider Woman, and I needed a classic Spider Woman, so um, I needed another classic Spider Woman. But yeah, uh, it's weird that she's actually more better done than the previous than the classic Spider Woman. She has double jointed elbows. Um, still has that giant head though. They always gave the Spider Woman a giant head, and that really, really never—I never liked that at all. Mockingbird. This figure easily could have been a top ten worthy figure. Um, it didn't even didn't even really need double joint elbows. Her arms bend very, very far. The single joints even. Her my only problem with her is well, one they put the the, the copyright thing real obviously on her leg, which is ugly. Which as I'm a, a big huge flaw, but 
her uh, arm sleeves. They should be way bigger and droopier than they are. They could have reused the ones from Lady from from uh, they could have reused the ones from Lady Deathstrike. Would have been a good idea, I think. I don't know why they didn't. Um, that brings her down, but she's still going to be in good. Definitely the best figure in that West Coast Avengers box set. We have Daredevil Electra. This is a character that I don't want. It's too modern of a look for me, but it's a really good figure. I bought her for like five bucks at Target. Um, I sold her to my friend Ricardo. Uh, I've, I've, I'm, <clears throat> I'm shipping her out this week, by the way, man. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, not a figure I wanted, but it's, it's still a good figure. I'm going to put her in okay. Um, I don't even have her anymore. Because again, I, only, I picked her up, played with her a little bit. She's a good figure, but not not what I really needed. Um, Silver Centurion Iron Man. I have, the, I have two of the Walgreens exclusive one and now this one. Uh, this one's my main West Coast Avengers display one, while my other one, the Walgreens exclusive one, is going to be my Hall of Armor. I'm going to sell the other Walgreens exclusive. It's a decent figure. Um, he's, but again, I already had the previous one, so there's not, no big, huge improvement on him or anything. I, I've heard rumors that his shoulder pads are bigger. I haven't actually checked that myself. I should look that up side by side. Um, but he's just going to go in meh, because I already had a Silver Century and I was happy with. Um, I already, already had one I was happy with, but this one is uh, plenty good too. I mean, it's fine. Chasm I didn't get, too modern of a story, stupid design, not for me, um, yeah, Tigra, another one, I got two of the previous Tigra, the Cheeto colored one, um, I hate that I did that, wasted my money getting that really, that super bright orange one, I could have waited another, another year and a half to get this properly colored one, um, but, I mean, the first one was, was still a really good figure despite the color problem, so this one, the color, you know, it's not gonna bring her that much up, because she's not very fresh in my mind anymore, you know, so she goes in meh. If the previous Tigra hadn't come out, and this was the first time we got this Tigra, she'd be way higher. She'd probably be top 10 worthy, but because you already have her, she's meh. Karnak, happy to finally get another Inhuman. It's been a long time. We've only ever gotten Medusa and Black Bolt, so getting Karnak is a great achievement. Yes, he's on the spider, uh, the pizza spidey body. Honestly, I don't hate that body for him. Um, it is a little too tall. Karnak is only like 5'7", but at least he still looks small overall because of that skinny body. Um, I'm just going to put him in okay. I'm happy to have Karnak. Then we have Vertigo from the X-Men villain five pack. Uh, I wish he wasn't in a five pack. I need to get a second one for him to go with my Savage Land Mutates because I don't have two of her. If anyone has a second one, let me know. Uh, she's, you know, whatever. She's never, she's not a very exciting looking figure. Her hair can be done better. I think she should have some white in her hair as well. Uh, and she had no uh, effects or anything. Meh. She goes, she'll go in. Oh, I put her in. Where, where'd she go? So anyways, I'll put her in. Meh. Strife. You know, we had a Strife before. He was a decent figure before. I destroyed mine for a custom years ago. I wish I, I regret that really bad. Um, this one is, is better than that one in, in every way. He's now taller like he should be. Um, he just looks more intimidating. His, his helmet is done so much better. He is a gorgeous looking figure on the shelf. He is definitely a possible top 10 Marvel legend of the year. Um, blown away by that stripe. I expected nothing from him and he ended up being incredible. And then you have Random from that same set who Random is a character I've always wanted. I thought it'd be really cool. I like the Hercules body. But I think maybe it wasn't a good choice for him. I mean, he might kind of need a wide, an even wider torso. But the biggest problem with him, and this is going to sound weird, <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice here a little bit. I do have a cold, so maybe that could be why. Um, it's going to sound weird here, but Random has no crotch. <laughs> he goes legs and then body. There's, he has no crotch. He has no ass. There's nothing there to... He looks very disjointed. He looks like he's not finished. Which is weird because they used the Hercules body. Hercules had a crotch and an ass. So did Maggot. Like, those are the only figures that use that body so far before. Those are the only figures that have used this body. Where'd that go on random? It's weird. It's super weird. I, but anyway, and also kind of weird he's in the villains box. I know him more as an X-Factor member. Maybe he was a villain too. I don't know. I think, I think he started off as a villain and then turned, on, turned, turned into a hero. Whatever. Random is... I'm so happy to have him. He's a little more than disappointing. He's, he's unfinished. He is, he's going to go in trash. He's an unfinished figure. And then you have uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man. I didn't get him, but I mean, looking at him, look at this figure. He is garbage. He's trash. Uh, that head sculpt, Sidious. Fortunately, his head was cut off um, in this picture, but yeah, garbage figure. Julia Carpenter, Spider Woman. Uh, again, nice figure. Both of her figures are better than any of uh, Jessica Drew's Spider Man figures. It's weird. Um, I prefer the head sculpt, the hair, the, the redder colored hair on the original one. This one's not bad, too. I use this head sculpt on the old body. I, used, I put that with my Omega Flight to be uh, Arachna. Arachne. How do you say it? Um, so I get that repainted. Uh, so this head sculpt's okay. The double joint elbows are, in, are were needed for her. Uh, I'll put her in. Okay. Oh, and she disappeared. Where'd she go? Put her in. Okay. We have zero. Um, I mean, is this the most basic Marvel Legend you could ever could possibly think of? Uh, I yeah. I mean, 
yeah, I mean, there's nothing going on with this guy. He's a flat base body with two circles on him. <laughs> um, and he's an android, so I feel like they shouldn't have used a Inspire UK body because that body has like fabric sculpting. So he's not really a good choice. Uh, Vulcan would have been a good body choice. Bucky Cap would have been a fine body choice. Um, most of the other bodies would have been a good body choice. Inspire UK is probably the worst choice body they could have possibly chosen because it has the fabric sculpting. He's an android, he's a naked android, so he shouldn't have fabric sculpting. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go in trash. Um, yeah, that's pretty, yeah. I mean, what do you expect? Another figure that's trash is Miles Morales. Metro card didn't get that figure, but again, um, you can tell it's trash just by looking at it. Figure that looks like a trash tin can, but it's actually a great, awesome figure is Iron Man Model 1. Um, what are you gonna, well, can't go wrong with, with, with this Iron Man. Like, you, you look at him, you think he's not gonna be posable at all, but he's super posable for what he is. I'm super happy to have his Iron Man figure. Blows the Toy Biz one out of the water. Maybe he could have been a little bit bigger because I feel like he is maybe a little small for this version of Iron Man. But, I mean, I was I was blown away by this figure. I was really surprised by it. Yeah, Franklin Richards and Valeria Richards didn't get either one. Uh, not my version of Fantastic Four. And um, as far as I'm aware, everybody wants kid versions of them and not, you know, adult, teenage versions of them. Come on, give us kid versions and give us the power pack while you're at it. Then we have the Target exclusive uh, Black Widow. Everyone's putting her as like the number one legend of the year. Um, I think she's good, but she's not that good to me. Um, it's just Black Widow. I mean, she's again, she's a really good figure. I really like her a lot, but I don't think she's like mind-blowingly amazing. Everyone else seems to think um, she's still going possible top ten worthy. Uh, I like that figure a lot, but yeah, not a. I only should be number one or anything like that. There was a figure that came out. What is it? Eight years ago, getting re-released in 2023 as the same as the same crappy figure. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be. I didn't get it, but it's still trash. Super Adaptoid, one of the only figures of the year that I waited on to go to clearance before picking it up, uh, because he's disappointing. Again, this is another one that's like incomplete. You should have the wasp wings on him. Uh, he has the wrong style shield for Captain America. He uses a more modern style Captain America body when he should look more classic, like a more class classic style Captain America armor. Um, disappointing figure, yes. Uh, I'm a, but I, I mean, he still looks impressive on the shelf because he's big. He's big. That's basically all he's got. Go over him. I like his head sculpt a lot. Um, I'm gonna put him in meh. But I, don't know, I mean, I, I was I was hoping more from from high uh, from Super Adaptoid. Uh, oh well. Speaking of robots, though, the Destroyer, Destroyer, what blew me away. I have a select one for years. Thought that would be the best Destroyer figure I'm ever going to get in my whole life. It's never, I'm not going to get any. It's not gonna, <clears throat> it's not going to get any better than this. Uh, Legends proved me wrong. Uh, Destroyer is a top ten worthy figure. But it's really nice posability. The sculpt looks like the Destroyer. It is the Destroyer. I, I can't get the, I can't get around my head how good Hasbro did on this figure um my top 10 here is looking very uh metallic <laughs> but yeah destroyer really really amazing figure sticking with a uh, robotic cyborg guys uh pretty boy he's also going in the top the possible top 10 uh brand new sculpt uh i like his head sculpt uh, the, the, the body sculpt's really amazing um i wish they would have used that for silver main uh, a few months like, like it was a month before this figure came out silver main came out uh would have been perfect body for silver main as well yeah uh not much else to say about Pretty Boy. I'm not the biggest Reavers fan in the world, but I was really impressed by this figure, so he's going in possible top 10. We have the leader of the Star Jammers next, Corsair. Nothing mind-blowing, but he's good. I've, I've always wanted a Corsair figure. Uh, his bandana should be blue, but eh, oh well. I thought I'd maybe put some Silver Samurai shoulder pads on him to make him look more like... Uh, oh, I, thought he looked in the I thought he looked like that in the comics, but apparently he's more cartoon. He looked like that. Um, he had shoulder pads in the comics at some points, too. Um, but Corsair, I mean, he's good. I'll put him in the good category. I like him. If we need more Star Jammers. Then we got Six Arm Spider Man. Uh, they, added, they added the torso articulation to them. Well, no, so so crazy. Still goes in trash. Spider Woman from the two pack, uh, the scroll two pack, also goes in trash. The same figure that came out in 2015, re released. Same big ass head, same single jointed arms, same poor leg articulation. Only only thing this figure has going for it is that big old butt <laughs> from the from the Moonstone body mold. Um, I got it because I wanted another. I needed a second classic uh, Jessica Drew. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's the only reason I got this figure. Kid Omega, not a bad figure. Kind of a weird choice for the, you know, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man body. Um, not a uh, character I super, super wanted. And definitely not the version of the character I wanted at all. So he's going to go in trash. Ooh. He's going to go in trash for me. Uh, it just, they would have made his, like, schoolboy uniform. You know, the the, the 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 what he wore for most of the 2000s, the X-Men. Uh, it would be a lot better, but nope. Then we have uh, the Marvel Unlimited exclusive Daredevil. It's just the same Daredevil we got back in 2015. 
uh, but different colors, stolen bucket cat body, same head sculpt, everything. I didn't get it. Uh, I'm sure it's trash. So there you go. Power Princess from the Squadron Supreme. This is, again, from the more modern version of the Squadron Supreme. But this figure is really, really good. So I'm still going to put her up in good. Uh, hopefully we get a classic uh, Power Princess in the future. If not, I'm going to modify this one to be a classic version. I like this figure a lot, though. So good. Uh, this body mold is perfect size to be used for, like, Valkyrie in the future. Um, because the previous Valkyrie we got was way too big. This would be the perfect size body for a Valkyrie in the future. Hope we get that. Going in the Accuser, he also goes in good. Uh, he had he needed more hands and stuff, maybe an effect. But I like this big hammer at the the, the, um, the Universal Weapon or the Cosmo Rod or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so really happy to have a Ronin the Accuser. He looks great on my shelf. Uh, we need we need some Kree soldiers to go along with this guy though. The Outback Rogue, um, not really accurate to the Outback look. It's more based on more modern art uh, for her head sculpt and stuff. She should have different hair. But still happy to have this costume for Rogue. I like this better. I prefer this costume over the Jim Lee costume. But I'm gonna put her in disappointing. Craven from the from Walmart. Uh, didn't get him. I don't collect animated series figures. He doesn't even work for a comic figure. Uh, Deadpool will go in good. I uh, didn't like the way his uh, the block cuts off on his legs. Uh, Should maybe I have another gun holster there or something to hide that. That would have been better. Um, otherwise, this body mold is way better for Deadpool than it is for Spider Man. I like it better on Deadpool and Daredevil than I do on Spider Man. So that's cool. Um, otherwise he's, I mean, he's good. He's a good figure. He's just, it's also just another Deadpool. So we got Hydra Bob who is, um, okay. He, uh, not, not, not mind blowing his pinless joints. That's cool. Um, I guess cool. His, his green is different than the other Hydra soldiers greens. It's like, he's been out of it for a while. So his costumes all faded or something. I guess kind of cool. Um, him and Deadpool had a whole bunch of accessories in their two packs. I mean, that really brings them up, especially that, um, even though, even though I don't use most of the accessories, but yeah, he's cool. Um, yeah, he goes in. Okay. Then we have Justice, and a lot of people wanted the Marvel Boy version of Justice for their 90s New Warriors. Um, I have a custom of that already, so I didn't really care. I'm happy with this um, with this version of Justice, because it's close enough to the version of Justice that I actually wanted. Um, Justice looked like this in the newer version of the New Warriors by 2014, but he had a costume that was basically this exact same costume. I think the white stripe around his belt area was missing back then, when it, but he was on the Avengers back then. Um, it was around the time Civil War happened. That's my favorite costume for Justice. So I'm happy we got that something similar to it. New torso. His cape is like embedded to his torso. So it'd be really hard to swap that out with a fabric cape. He's, he's really cool. I like this. I like this Justice figure a lot. He's not going good. If it was the actual, like if, if, it, if it wasn't, if it was the actual version of Justice from the mid 2000s, he'd be in possible top 10 category. But since he is technically a 2014 version of Justice and his head doesn't look up very well, he goes, he's just going to go in good. Then we have Savage Namor who not a version of Namor I ever really wanted. He's not accurate to the comic art. The comic art, he has like spikes going down his uh, thighs, not showing up on this figure at all. Um, he's also like very, very angry looking in the comic. If, this is, if, you, if, this, if there's any figure to give a screaming head to, like Blade earlier, give it to this version of Namor. But they didn't. So he looks real calm and chill. He looks all Fabio-ish for uh, Savage Namor. I'm putting him in trash. I am disappointed. I really did not want this figure. If they would have given him the spikes on his legs and the, and the angry, and angry face, I would have at least put him in good because at least he would have been accurate. The way he is now, I'm just going to modify him to just be a different version of Namor to be in my Atlantis display. Next up is a figure I didn't get. Uh, this is the Blur from the same two-pack as Nighthawk earlier. Um, I do kind of wish I got this figure because even though this is a more modern look, classic Wizard, the Squadron Supreme Wizard, not the Evaders Wizard, Looked very similar to this as well. I think it might have been blue instead of black, but it would have been, you know, it's been fine. If anyone has him separately, I'm going to buy him. Um, yeah, didn't get, but I think if I did get him, he'd probably be in good. I love the Squadron Supreme. Then we have the Marvel Knights version of Black Panther. Uh, I like it. I don't, I'm not in love with it. I don't know what his, his, his uh, cape is also like glued to his chest. So I came in, you know, again, it's going to be hard to swap it out for a fabric cape. I do really enjoy this look for Black Panther. It's one of, my, one of my favorite Black Panther looks, but for some reason, this figure just isn't sparking the joy of the Black Panther from the previous year brought me. So I'm going to put him in good. Um, yeah, he's he's good. I mean, he's very, but I don't know. There's something about him. It's just really, I wish I could put my finger on what is making him not perfect to me. Moon Dragon from the Drax 2-pack. This is not the version of Moon Dragon I really wanted. I would prefer like a 70s Moon Dragon. Not the one like in the floss bathing suit. Like the one who just, she just shows a lot of skin, but it's still like a normal person bathing suit. Um, I wanted that version. I could put that with my Defenders and my Avengers and then put this version with my Guardians and then the Floss version with the Infinity Watch. But I get maybe there's a version of that costume, whatever. This figure is still really good. 
Um, if for, even for single joint elbows, she has a lot of range. I think she's great. I put, I'm going to put her in the good section. I like her. She's one of the best female figures of the year, for sure. Then we have Heroes Return Iron Man, the George Perez designed Iron Man from the late 90s. Really, really like this figure. No one's talking about him, really. It's kind of mind-blowing to me. He's a really good figure. He just went in my Hall of Armor. I don't have that specific... I don't have my Avengers split up in eras, but if I did, this Iron Man would be front and center of that, that, that 90s Avengers section. Um, but I don't, so Hall of Armor he goes. But uh, really, really nice figure. I think he's possible top 10 worthy. Shoot me. I don't know. That's two Iron Mans in the top, in the top 10. I mean... That's crazy, right? Uh, I think he's a really good, really good figure. Lots of metallics in the top ten, like I said earlier. We got the Rose a character I've always wanted. Really basic guy in a suit. Um, people don't like the way his suit looks. I kind of agree. Less so about the length, but more so about just how it, he kind of looks like a toothpaste tube. Um, but I'm still happy to have him. I'm gonna put him in. Hmm, I kind of like him better than most things in Meh. So maybe disappointing. Oh, put him in disappointing. I guess he's okay. We have animated Gambit, who is trash. Didn't get him, but man, look at that thing. He's garbage. The Gambit body has always been too tall. That's one of the problems with it. Um, and this figure is with the animated head and the colors. This is not a good figure, so he wasn't trash. Yeah, um, Commander Steve Rogers. Uh, you know, Commander of S.H.I.E.L.D. Steve Rogers. Um, better than the original one, that's for sure. But the head sculpt just has a lot to, leave to, you know, has a lot to be desired. Um, I'm going to put him in meh as well. Um, Better head sculpt would have brought this figure up for sure, but yeah, as is, meh. Gray Hulk. Am, am I in the minority here that feels like this Gray Hulk looks more like a Todd McFarlane Gray Hulk than a first appearance Gray Hulk? Um, also, like I get they, they give him a nice new torso, which is cool, but Gray Hulk is supposed to be quite a bit smaller than Green Hulk, and this Gray Hulk is bigger than the Joe Fixit Hulk even. Like if they made this Gray Hulk the same size as the Joe Fixit Hulk, just not wearing a suit, it would have been a great figure. It would have been a top ten worthy figure for sure. As is, he is just okay. Actually, I'll put him in disappointing. I still prefer using my Toy Biz First Appearance Hulk as my First Appearance Hulk. This will just go somewhere else in the display. Uh, Bruce Banner, same thing, disappointing. Um, I get they gave, him, they gave him the blue pants so he'd fit in with the gray Hulk that he comes in the two-pack with. But when you think of Bruce Banner, you think of purple pants. Like, so purple pants Bruce would have worked with every other Hulk in my display. So it's kind of a bummer to me. So disappointing. Star-Lord. Um, not a version of Star-Lord anyone super wanted, but I did. This is his first appearance look. I'm going to put him in probably okay. Now, I'm not with the, also, the white paint job on him wasn't very good. Like, he has lots of, in the deep spots, there was blue sticking through. Doc Ock didn't get, want to get for the tentacles, but uh, didn't. So Aunt May didn't get, kind of want to kind of have an Aunt May, even though it looks more like Hillary Clinton. Um, Spiral, definitely top 10 worthy Marvel legend. Fantastic figure. Honestly, might even be number one. I have to go through, I have to figure that out myself later on, but I like Spyro a lot, uh, fantastic, fantastic figure, the six arms done well, double joint elbows all around, um, she's a really stunning figure, we got Puff Adder, Puff Adder would go in okay, um, another character for my, for my Serpent Society, we're slowly building that team, we're adding to the Serpent Society, we need more Serpent Society members, really bad, Anaconda, where are you, um, Bushmaster, where are you, uh, but yeah, uh, Puff Adder, he's okay, you know, he was bad for the year for me until, uh, my, until the minus one came out. If Forge, um, I'd say he's better than the previous Forge in almost every way, except for I wish he had the brown boots, but like in the tassels, but I get that's not this version of Forge, that's so fine. I'm gonna put him in good. Avalanche. Man, Avalanche could have been so good. If you can, again, this is another character should have a gritting head, a gritted face head, like Luke Cage should have had that and stuff. Um, some accessories, some you know, um, effects accessories would have been cool, and maybe a big A either on his head or on his chest or both. So, because he doesn't have those, he goes in the trash. Oh, he goes in trash. Bummer, bummer figure. Actually, maybe... I like him better than everybody else in trash. I'll put him in meh. No, he's also still a new... He's going disappointing. There we go. Avalanche goes in disappointing. He's still a new character. I'm still. He still adds a big part to my collection. And it is really, it is really more just the head. Um, the A's, I could live without. Disappointing is a good spot for him. Psylocke only got her for the head sculpt. Uh, it's a nice Sonic head sculpt. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, meh. Storm got her just to have the body to get, to get to make um, uh, Doctor Reyes. I can't remember her first name at the moment, but yeah, meh. Ultimate Captain America. Um, really nice. He should he should have more posability in his torso than he does, but I don't know why they why why they, why they limited him so much like that. It makes no sense. Um. I'll put him in good, though. We, we do need some more Ultimates to go with him. Ultimate Thor would be awesome. We've never had that in Marvel Legends before. Ultimate Hawkeye, a new Ultimate Iron Man. Those would all be cool. 
Multiple Man in my favorite Multiple Man look. Um, he has a really big old head, though. Um, I still bought five of him. Um, if anyone sees him at Ross or Clarence, let me know. I, mean, I could use more. Um, I'll put him in meh. He's, he's, he's okay. Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix is really nice. I, I prefer the uh, two-pack one from back in the day. So, so, so she's not really good to spot on my shelf, but I am putting an alternate head on her so she can just be Rachel Gray or Rachel Summers, whatever, to be the Excalibur for now until we get actual spiky um, Phoenix. So I'll put her in good. Yelena Belova. Uh, this, the same year that Black Widow comes out, we get this piece of crap Black Widow. Uh, she goes in trash. Uh, barely posable, pretty much. Um, don't like this figure. Not, not a big fan of this version of, of Yelena either. I prefer like a, a first appearance Yelena, uh, which actually looks pretty and like and stuff. Um, not a fan of that. And then the last figure of the year is uh, one that I would say is a sleeper hit of the year. A figure that no one really talks about. Kind of like Iron Man earlier, the, the, the Heroes Return Iron Man. Um, I told you it was like underrated figure of the year. Uh, Hyperion, possible top 10 worthy figure uh, from the two pack um this version of hyperion could be could be used as a 60s version of hyperion could be used as an 80s version of hyperion a 2021 version of hyperion it is a perfect hyperion to for me to, to me blows the old hyperion way out of the water this is a fantastic figure don't know why more people aren't talking about him um, yes he has joint uh pinned joints in his elbows but it doesn't bother me pin joints never really bothered me um but he looks great. I need multiple of this guy to create a Squadron Supreme and a Squadron Sinister and maybe a King Hyperion. We can go with the Thunderbolts. This Hyperion is a really, really good figure. So that's my ranking of the 2023 Marvel Legends uh, releases for the comic and cartoon figures. If I missed any figures from this year, let me know. I, I'm sure I missed a few. There's, there's a lot of figures released this year. Um, let me know what you guys think about my opinions in the comments down below. Um, I feel like I had a good time making this video. Uh, expect more videos from me in the future. And uh, it looks like I have 11 figures in my possible top 10. So I better narrow that down to 10 uh, before I do the actual top 10 Marvel Legends video. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Catch you next time.